What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to learn about python wheel files and how to properly build and install packages using setup tools so let us get right into it all right so wheel files are essentially just python packages every time you open up your command line to install something via pip so for example when you say something like pip or pip3 install numpy or pandas or something like that, you're actually installing a wheel file. And you can see that this is the case by going to PyPI, which is the platform where you have all the packages for pip. And you can go, for example, to numpy. And for each package, you will find this download file section here. And when you click on it, you can see we have a source distribution. This is just uh, the source code here in an archive. And then we have the built distributions. And all of those are wheel files, so WHL files, as you can see here. And this is actually what we're using to package applications or to package libraries and to then install them from this package. So this is the file type that is used in the Python world to package something and to then install it from that package. Uh, and this is what we're going to learn how to do today using setup tools. Now I also have a video where I show you how to do that and how to upload uh, the package to PyPI. You can check that out if you want to. Today, we're going to focus more on the actual building process, more on the actual uh, wheel files than on the upload to PyPI. So um, this here, for example, now is a simple calculator wheel file. Now, once you have a wheel file package, and we're going to learn how to do this here in a second, once you have an actual wheel file in your directory, what you can do is you can just um, open this up, for example, in your file explorer, you can open up a terminal at this location, uh, CMD on Windows, or the terminal on Linux and Mac, and then you can just go ahead and say, pip three or pip install, and then you can just use the wheel file instead of specifying some name that is known to PyPI. So I can just say calculator zero one, uh, and so on dot wheel or dot WHL. And this would install the package on my system, I can then also remove it again, uh, I'm going to show you how this works once we build our own wheel file. Now, in general, the package can be either an application or a library. So you can either have a module that um, or, or a package where you have some functionality that can then be used by other scripts uh, via imports, or you can have a full application where you say, okay, this is not just some, um, those are not just some functions, I actually have something that can be executed in the command line. And when you install the package, you can use the tool in the command line. So we're going to start with a simple library first. For this, we're going to define, um, we're going to create a directory called calculator. And then we're going to also say uh, that we want to have a, or first of all, let's actually code the calculator app. So we're going to say calculator dot py and we're going to define some very basic functionality here nothing fancy just a simple def add x and y is going to return x plus y we're going to do the same thing for for come on for subtraction so sup and for multiplication now for this we're going to of course say this and then we're going to also say def division x and y we're not going to do any exception handling here so if you pass zero it's your own fault actually this is multiplication and that will be our package now this is what we're going to build now in order to do that we're going to also create an init.py file i also have a video on init files what their role is and what they do uh, basically, we're going to define the imports here. So from dot calculator import at sub mul and diff. And then what we're going to do, and this is what we need an external package for, uh, at least I think it's an external package, I'm pretty sure it is, um, we can use the tool or the package called setup tools, like this. So pip three install or pip install setup tools. And in my case, it's already installed. Um, I think though it is an external package. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, but this is what we're going to do now, uh, what we're going to use now to build this actually into uh, a wheel file. So we're going to go outside of the calculator directory. So in the parent directory, and we're going to create a setup.py file. And here we're going to say from setup tools, import setup and find packages. 
And then we're going to define a very simple setup function here. We're going to call a very simple setup function here. The name of the package is going to be calculator. The version, you can just specify a version number. So maybe 1.0 for the first one or 0 0.1. Uh, or something more advanced like 2.3 if you have some other packages or some other versions already. And then we can say packages equal find packages. This is automatically going to find packages which are uh, marked or recognized by this init py file. So that is the whole magic for this simple calculator. Now what we're going to also do now is we're going to create a directory here test.py uh, actually not py, sorry, uh, test, or maybe to prevent this highlighting, let me just, or to prevent this icon, let me just rename this to, uh, code experiment or something like this. I don't know. It's just something that we want to use so that we have a file that is not directly in contact with the module. So we're going to say main py. And now since I don't have the module installed, as far as I know, I shouldn't be able to say from calculator, uh, I am is this because it's recognizing the package? Or is it because maybe I have to move this into a different directory? Uh, let me just see if I delete this, I'm going to just uh, open up a terminal, I'm going to navigate to my desktop. And here I'm going to create a new file experiment.py. And I'm going to say from calculator, okay, I think I have this installed, actually, so I need to uninstall it first pip three, uninstall calculator. There you go, because I prepared the video, I had this installed. So I think it should also work in a directory here. Let's try again experiment python file main py. Now I shouldn't be able to Yeah, there you go. We don't have calculator anymore. Calculator from calculator, we want to import add and mul, for example, uh, this doesn't work now because we don't have the package installed. Now what we're going to do is <clears throat> sorry, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to this directory here with the setup file, and we're going to build the package and to do this, uh, we can either open up the terminal here directly in PyCharm, or we can do that in our own uh, terminal instance. Now I'm going to navigate to current and to uh, actually, this is the directory that I want to be in. And here I'm going to call now Python or Python three setup py. And now you can specify one of two keywords, either as this to get the source distribution as the archive as the tar.gz file, or be dist underscore wheel to get the binary distribution as a wheel. So this is what we want to do here, we're going to run this and you can see it created a bunch of directories here with some files, what we're looking for is inside of the disk directory. So when you go into the disk directory, you can see here, the calculator 2.3 and so on will file. And again, we can go to this, we don't have the package, we cannot import anything from it. But now if I go to the disk directory here in the terminal, and if I type pip three install, and then calculator wheel file, then you can see it installed the package from uh, from the wheel file directly, we didn't need to use pip in terms of uh, we didn't need to use PyPI to get it from somewhere online, I have it here on my computer as a wheel file. And um, now I can just go ahead and say print at 10 and 20. And you can see that this works because we now have the package installed. And this can be very useful because sometimes, of course, um, I, I stumbled upon this, I think one once or twice, people sometimes don't publish their package on PyPI, maybe because it's just a very small package, or it's not something they want to publish as an actual package on this platform. And they will just provide you a wheel file. And this is what you can do to um, to install it. So you can work with this as well. When you go to the wheel file itself, you can also open it with your favorite archive manager. And you can see what's actually inside it is the source code. So you can see actually we have here uh, this Python file, and I think we can extract it here as well. And when you open it in the text editor, you can see the source code. So you can actually see since Python is not a compilable language, we don't compile a uh, Python code, uh, you can still see the source code in the wheel file itself. So it's not in any way obfuscated. 
Um, yeah, so this is the first thing. Now, let me just load my second example here. I think the code is roughly the same, not exactly, but almost. Because now what we want to do here for the second example is we want to uh, not just install a package, we want to install an application. So when I say pip3 install calculator, whatever dot wheel, I don't want to have just this library that I can use here with from calculator import, I want to have an application that I can run in the command line by saying calculator like this. Um, and for this, we need to make some changes so we can keep the same functions here. But we're going to also change a little bit the structure of uh, the project because now we no longer need a package, we need an application. So first of all, I'm going to delete everything that was created in the build process. I'm also going to delete the experiment directory since we don't need to import anything. Uh, I'm also going to delete this init py file. And I'm going to take the calculator py file outside of this directory, because we now don't need a package anymore. And in here now I'm going to add a main function. So I'm going to say def main. And in the main function, we're going to use these functions. So we're going to say uh, operator equals input. So this is going to be an interactive user script. Now we're going to say operator equals input, um, enter operator, and we can choose between plus minus star and slash for the four arithmetic operators. Uh, we're going to say number one equals input, or actually, we're going to say float input first number, and then number two is going to be second number like this. Uh, and then we're going to just do a basic if else tree with the operation. So if operator equals plus, then we're going to say uh, result equals uh, number one plus number two. Then we can copy this, we can paste this, we can add an L in front of the if, and then we're going to say minus here and minus here. And then we're going to paste this and we're going to paste this one more time. And we're going to replace this year with a star, this year with a star as well, this year with a slash, and this one as well. So that is that and then we're going to just print the result like this. So nothing too fancy, nothing too complicated, just a basic uh, main function that uses all of this. And then we're going to also, of course, run this because this is now just a function. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore, then we call the main function. That is the whole magic behind our script. And um, what we need to do now to treat this not just as a package, but also as an executable as a runnable script as a runnable command in the command line is we have to make some changes in the setup py file. So first of all, uh, we're going to keep the name the same, we can keep the version the same if we want to. Uh, but now we're going to specify here pi underscore modules because we changed the structure. Uh, we're going to say pi modules is going to be a list that contains calculator and then we're going to say that the entry points and this is the actual magic here. I'm constantly mistyping entry points is going to be a dictionary and we're going to have console scripts, which is going to be the key to another, uh, not to a dictionary, sorry to a list. And in this list, we're going to have the following string, it's going to say calculator equals calculator colon main, basically meaning in the console, when you call calculator, you're going to call the calculator file. And from that file, the main function. So when we install this package, and we call calculator in the command line, we're going to actually run. Um, we're going to actually run the main file. Now I'm not even sure in this case, I have this like that in the prepared code, I'm not even sure if we need that section, I actually don't think so. So I think we can even remove that here. That should not be a problem. Um, let me just add a little else branch here. Otherwise, we're going to just return. There you go. Uh, that should actually be it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the terminal again, we're going to go to current again, and we're going to say, uh, first of all, the important thing is we want to uninstall what we already have. So when we open up a command line, and we type pip three, 
freeze, you can see the packages that we have installed. And you can see that we also have here um, this calculator wheel file. So this has um, a specific file path. So you can see file, home, neural nine, documents, programming, neural nine, and so on to this wheel file. This is what we have. So in order to uninstall that, we're going to say pip3 uninstall calculator and is going to remove the package uh, that is this wheel file. So we're going to now say again, Python 3 setup py bdist wheel. And this creates again, a wheel file. So we can go to that directory dist and we can say pip3 install calculator and then it's installed. And now I can just open up my command line. I can type calculator and you can see it runs the script. So I can say now plus 10, 20 is 30. So this is now a runnable application. Now I want to show you one last example where we're going to use an actual file. So we're not going to just, um, we're not going to just have a, an independent script, we're going to have a script load something from the system. And we're also going to have uh, libraries or packages that our package is based on. So we're going to require some installs. Uh, I just want to show you how to handle this. So let's change the calculator here to something else. Let's call this now mytool.py. And here we're going to import now pandas. And pandas is going to load a CSV file. So let me just again remove all of this here. We're going to create a new file here, data.csv, and we're going to just have ID name H and we're going to have Mike 30 years old and Bob 50 years old like this. Um, and all we want to do here is nothing too fancy. We want to say import pandas as PD actually, and then we want to print or actually want to say df equals PD read CSV data.csv. And then we just want to print the df. So that's all of the functionality here. And this now requires us to do one thing actually, because this is going to be dynamically loaded from the current directory. So we don't need to really do anything uh, to make this possible because we're not actually including this file, we don't want to include this particular data CSV file into the package, we just want to include or we, we want to work with whatever CSV file is available right now. So we don't want to actually add this to the wheel file. Um, but what we do need is we need pandas installed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change first of all, all of this to my tool, my tool, my tool, and my tool. And of course, for this, we need a main function. There you go. Uh, and now what we're going to add here is we're going to add, let me just see that I'm not missing uh, something here. There you go. We're going to just add a simple keyword here. And that's all we need. And the keyword is going to be install underscore requires. And this is going to be equal to a list. And here we can list all the packages like in a requirements.txt file. So we can say either just pandas or we can say pandas equals equals one point uh, star to say we don't want to have pandas two, but get the highest version of pandas one point something. That would be what we're doing here. So now I can actually go ahead and I can say pip three uninstall first of all, also the calculator again. We also want to uninstall pandas now. Uh, because now we don't have pandas anymore on the system we are not able to run this file anymore. Once it's updated, I think, does it recognize that pandas is no longer here? There you go. No module named pandas. You can also see now it has this red underlining. Um, but now if I go ahead and I build the tool, so if I, which one is the terminal I need this one? Uh, if I go now to this directory here, and just increase the font size a little bit. If I now say Python three set up py and then bdist underscore wheel. And if now I go to dist and I say pip three install 
my tool, whatever wheel file, then it installs everything. You can also see it installs pandas now. So now I have pandas installed uh, as well. So you can see now that once the indexing is done, it's going to recognize pandas is installed again, because my system depends or, or not my system, my package depends on pandas, which is why it's installed. And now I can just go anywhere and I can run my tool. So here, of course, it takes the CSV file that's available in this directory. If I go to my desktop, and I say my tool, it will say no such file or directory because in this directory that I'm running this tool in, we should have a data.csv file. So uh, that is how this package works. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.